I just read a fact that says that cursing is good for your soul. And let me tell you, I totally agree with this fact. I was cursing throughout this whole book. Like, in my head, I was just like, shit, they're What the actual Hello everyone, I'm Colleen, and today I'm going to be doing a book review for Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. But before I get started, I would like to thank Maximum Pop for sending me a copy of this book in exchange for an honest review. And I am so thankful to have received this because when I woke up, I just immediately felt the whole cover and it is gorgeous and you can feel the crown and it's just amazing. So yes, thank you so much for this copy. Red Queen is about a society that is divided by blood. There are the red bloods and there are the silver bloods. The red bloods are like the slaves, they are oppressed by the silvers. And the silver bloods are the people who are almost godlike. They have abilities such as elemental powers and some of them can do mind control. Which is why they see themselves better than the Red Bloods. This is set in the dystopian world, and if you're a Red and you don't have a job by the time you turn 18, then you are most definitely going to be sent off to war. We follow a 17-year-old girl named Mare who ends up finding herself working for the Silvers, which is kind of odd for her. So, we follow that journey of her working with the Silvers and also finding out that she has an ability, which is very unheard of because she's a Red. Once the Silvers find out that she has her own ability, it totally throws them off. So this is her being taken in and pretending to be a Silver. This book was very intriguing. It took me a few chapters to get into like under 100 pages, but overall it was fun. The world building, there wasn't too much world building, but I heard from Sasha from a Bookitopia that, that there will be more world building in the second book, so I'm excited for that. One of the reasons why it took me a while to get into this book was because there were some terms that I didn't really understand. Like, at first I didn't know what Greeny was, and I was kind of annoyed at that, but as I read on, the character starts telling us what a Greeny is and all that, but I still wish that it was more told in the beginning, or if there were keywords at the back to tell us what kind of powers they were. I'm pretty sure some of you guys might be debating on whether or not to read this book because there's apparently a love triangle, but honestly, the love triangle isn't really a triangle and it's not very overwhelming and I feel like this love triangle was kind of done right. So I definitely think that you should give this a try even if you don't really like love triangle. Plus it's only like under 400 pages so you'll get through this book really quickly. Not to mention this book is gorgeous so just putting that out there. So I was really confused how many stars to give this book but I end up just giving it a 5 out of 5 stars. But I don't know I'm feeling kind of like I should bring it down a little bit but I'm just probably gonna keep it there because this book blew my mind. So yeah, this was my spoiler-free book review for Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. And before you guys go, I would just highly recommend you guys to not read the back of the book because I feel like it gives a little bit too much away. And so now I will ask you guys who haven't read the book to please leave the video if you don't want to get spoiled because I don't want to spoil people about this book. I feel like going into this without knowing much is the best way to go. So bye people who haven't read the book, I will see you soon and we can discuss this once you finish it. Are you gone? Y you guys are gone right because I really don't want to spoil you guys. Okay, if you stayed I'm pretty sure you guys have read Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard and so we will talk about Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I am so sorry for cursing but what the fuck? Maven! Maven, I shipped you with Mare. I trusted you with Mare. But honestly, I did see that betrayal coming and I knew that Kale was a good person. So I think it was just me not wanting to believe that Maven was a bad person. And honestly, I did see that they were going aiming for the throne. And for some reason, this book really reminded me of a Game of Thrones and Throne of Glass and Hunger Games and the selection and it didn't really bother me at all because as I said I just shoved those similarities away and just read this book for whatever it was and I think I really did enjoy it because of that. Near the end of the book when Cal and Mare was going to be like killed I was so shocked when Evelyn ran away from Mare Honestly, I thought that she was more proud of what she is and she was more badass than that. 
But she just ran away like a little girl and I did not expect that at all. I have to say it was very predictable. Um, I, as I said, I predicted that. Cal, I already predicted that he was going to be helping Mayor get the job and I think, I'd say I did get that he was a prince but it didn't really like cross over my mind. But I did know that he was the one that helped Mayor. But then when Maven joined the Scarlet Guard, I was like, Oh, I guess he's a good guy then. Little did we know he was betraying us all along and he was working with the Queen. The Queen, I hate her. I. She reminded me of Cersei too because she's such a strong woman and she has such a strong ability. She's a whisperer. Or is that the term? But yeah, she can whisper into people's minds and make them do whatever she wants them to do. So that's a power that I would love to have. And then we have the epilogue where we find out that Shade is alive and I also predicted that but I'm pre I don't know why Farah? Fer Fer I can't remember her name but I don't know why they didn't tell her that Shade was alive it's either that they never knew that she was alive or they just wanted Mare to be really angry to want to join the Scarlet Guard so maybe that's why. As I said, there wasn't really much of a love triangle. I kind of knew that Cal and Mare was meant to be. But I really did like ship Mare and Maven passionately. Because I was like, oh no, Mare is just going to go with Cal. And I feel like Maven is slightly falling in love with Mare. And he wasn't. So I'm looking at my Goodreads status right now. And I wrote for page 2 139 I wrote when you ship two people but one of the character is being difficult that was about an interaction between Maven and Mare and I was just like oh Mare is totally going to be with Cal but I don't want that to happen I want them two together and I'm kind of glad that they're not together or they didn't get married at all because that would be horrible so with the similarities Little Lightning Girl totally reminded me of the Girl on Fire from the Hunger Games. But also, for some reason, Julius, which is their uncle, Maven and um, Cal's uncle, reminded me so much of Cinna. But also, I am so curious about whether or not Julius is dead because he was not mentioned at all in that book, but it was mentioned that he was caught. But I have a feeling that Maven was kind of just saying that because they couldn't catch him. So I'm hoping that he's still alive because I think he's a really cool character and I am more interested to know what happened to his sister and if he gets the revenge that he wants. So these are all the things that I can remember and I'm discussing with you guys and I would really love to know what you guys think of this book and what was your favorite moments in this book. I would really love to know and were you annoyed by the similarities in this book between other dystopian books? Comment those down below but make sure you have the word spoiler written down in the comment before other people read them because we do not want to accidentally spoil other people. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure to like, comment down whatever you want, and we'll see you in my next one. Bye! Society that is divided but wait, is this even filming? Okay. As you can see, I'm wearing a flower crown because I can't find my crown, so a flower crown kind of has the same idea as a crown anyway. And this is red, so red queen. Yeah. <laughs> and Maven, and I was... Is it Maven? Is that Kale? Cal? Cal. Oh, front of glass. Sorry. Because I predicted that Cal... Cal? Cal?